Alright, so welcome back to another episode of Robin Brothers New Launch Series and today we are going to review Midtown Bay and if you are investors, young family or singles, working professionals, then I think you've got to check this video out with us. Let's go. One or level two, you actually have height advantage. Based on your current uh, property portfolio, what is the level of risk? Before we begin, we're going to touch a little bit about the overview as well as the background and who are the developers before we dive a little bit deeper into the different types of bedroom layouts and then we'll take a look at the price comparison, your exit strategy and who are your potential tenants and investors before we wrap it up. So Midtown Bay is actually part of a mixed-use development called Guoco Midtown that spans over 950,000 square feet of space that consists of Great A offices, retail outlets, as well as residential sites. So the vision behind Guoco Midtown is to encompass work, live, and play. So what you're buying into is more of a lifestyle than just pure residential project. Right, so Midtown Bay is developed by Guoco Land that is a 99 years leasehold project right in District 7, located right between Beach Road as well as Middle Road and flanked by Co Highway. Now there are a total of 219 units that consist of one bader, two bader, and a mixture of two and three bader that belongs to the duplex category. So to give you some context about the developer Guoco Land, they have already developed over 36 residential projects, over 10,000 apartments. Some of the notable projects include uh, Tanjong Paga Centre, Wally Residences, Leiden Residences. So I think in terms of track record, Guoco Land boasts a very stellar and solid track record and all the projects that they have developed have already seen a capital appreciation. So in terms of location, I think Midtown Bay is centrally and in a very prime location because we are actually being served by four MRT line, the East-West line, Circle line, North-South line, as well as the Downtown line. So I think in terms of connectivity, this is going to be an area where I don't think you really need cars because you have great connectivity in terms of both underground as well as an overhead bridge that links you to various parts of town. If you have to take a closer look, the area that is marked in red is actually where Guoco Midtown is going to be. There's an extension right over there we're going to touch a little bit more later. Uh, that is actually called Midtown Modern. Project details have yet to be released but that is also another project that is developed by Guoco Land. So in terms of the location, I think Guoco Midtown is very strategically placed because you are in the vicinity of the Bugis district as well as the Suntech area and the CBD area. So I think if you are investors, there is going to be a huge tenants profile. And if you are familiar with the Bugis district. That is a district that has shown the highest capital appreciation over the past one to two years. So I think the good thing about the segregation is that the residential unit starts from level 7 all the way to 24 and that also means that you are already on a higher ground. With this kind of configuration, you will have a very nice bay view. Now for stack number 1 to 5, you do get a bit of unblocked view right up to Midtown Square where you get this low level Midtown Plaza that gives you a breathing space. One of the typical layout for one bader in Midtown Bay is this particular configuration of 474 square feet. It's rather compact, you do not have a lot of wasted space. This particular layout has a balcony and the layout with a balcony are the ones that are facing the Marina Bay. Right, so let's take a look at another layout where you do not have a balcony right at your living area. So this is how it's going to look like. It's rather compact. Of course, you will then get to enjoy a lower quantum because this particular unit is slightly over 400 square feet. And if you are an investor that is purely looking at quantum play, then I think this is a great option for you. So one bidder, it is slightly over 400 square feet. So I think in terms of the overall quantum, that's going to be very comfortable. So just take for example, 
Tiffle stack number 2, 409 square feet for a one bedder without a balcony that is facing towards the city view. From level 16 onwards, the price starts at $1.457 million. And I think this is the cheapest one bedder that you can get right here in Midtown Bay. So if you are looking at a price range of 1.5 million plus minus, then I think you can go for this stack number 2. But if you are someone that prefers a higher floor living and you want to keep your price quantum affordable, then I think you can go for stack number 4 because for this particular unit at level 18, that is going at $1.527 million. So that's about a difference of $70,000 between stack number 2 and stack number 4. But you know, with the difference of just 2 levels, I think you might as well just go for stack number 2. But I think in my opinion, between stack 1 to 4, it doesn't really matter if you're on the high floor and low floor because you are going to face the same view and with the midtown square that is fronting you, although you have a good distance away, the views that you get to see are more or less about the same and I don't think you know it makes a huge difference especially when we are already on the higher ground. So of course, one thing to note for a one bader other than the difference between the facing and the balcony, it doesn't come with an ensuite bathroom. So if you're someone that is very particular about this, this is something for you to take note of. Let's dive into the 2 bader configuration. Now for 2 bader, there are a total of 72 units. So that makes up around 30 odd percent in Midtown Bay. They are all on the corner units. There are a total of 4 stacks, namely stack 1, 5, 6 and 10. Now of course, 1 and 5 are again CD view facing and stack 6 and 10 are the Marina Bay view facing. So if you're looking for a 2 bader, if you want to keep your quantum affordable, a 2 bader right here, the cheapest that you can have is slightly over 2 million and that is a stack number 5 at 732 square feet. Of course, that is slightly on the lower level and facing towards the city view. So I think this is a comfortable quantum for you to enter because at slightly over 2 mil, you can then get to own this 2 bader. But on the other side, if you want to have a Marina Bay view, then all you need to do is just to top out a range from 40 to 100 over K. So for the cheapest Marina Bay View unit, it is at stack number 10 from level 8 onwards and that is at $2.107 million. So uh, just like we mentioned earlier, for City View, the lowest is starting from 2.065 and for Marina View, the lowest is starting from 2.107. So that's about 40K difference. But of course, if you want to own a very high floor unit that's at 20 over floor, you will only have a few choice unit because the top 3 story for stack number 6 have already been sold out and for a high floor unit, stack number Number 10, it is going at 2.57 to 2.61 million. Now, there are a total of 8 stacks of 2 bader duplex and out of these 8 different stacks, 3 of the layouts does not come with a balcony. So again, if you're someone that don't need a balcony and you want to keep your entire quantum palatable, then I think you can go for stack number 2. They belong to the more compact version at 990 square feet. It is starting at 2.78 million. So I think one interesting you note for this 2 bader duplex, which is on level 26, starting at 2.78 million and high floor at stack number 10 which is already going at 2.61 million i think this price immediately draws down to a kind of disparity effect because for a two bader at 753 square feet you are going at 2.61 million so if you are kind of considering that kind of unit why not you just top up another hundred over thousand dollars you then get a two bader duplex at 990 square feet and that is at a higher level right above the sky terrace some of the suggestions that we have is if you want to rent out your two bedrooms that is at the second level you can also choose to stay at the first level and i think for this kind of configuration where you have the staircase right at the entrance i think that works well because it almost acts like a dual key but i think the choice is pretty much yours whether you want to have the staircase right at the entrance or one that is situated nearer to the dining area so other than the 2.78 million for the 990 square feet layout, the next cheapest option that you have is the 1130 square feet and that is a stack number one. Do take note that that particular stack that is city view facing, it does come with a balcony so it commands a slightly higher price starting at 3 mil. At this point, some of the price have yet to release. 
Right, so we've come to the last configuration which is the 3 beta duplex. For 3 beta duplex, the size is at 1324 square feet. This is the largest unit available in Midtown Bay. And I think if we are to take a look at some of the configurations that are located right in the prime district area, I think for a 3 beta duplex of this size, it is very rare and hard to come by. That also explains why there are only 8 units out of the entire 219 units that are available in Midtown Bay. They are at stack number 5 and 6, pretty much mirror image. So let's take a look at the layout for this 3 beta duplex. You have 2 bedrooms on the second level and 1 bedroom on the first level. And if you have to take a closer look, the bedroom at the first level is a Jack and Jill bathroom that allows guests to use. And of course, if you don't have guests, then that forms an ensuite bathroom. So I think the configuration and the ratio between bathroom and bedrooms is great. I think that is very luxurious. And both stack comes with a balcony. So the beauty of this layout is it gives you the flexibility to rent out two bedrooms on the second level because the moment you enter, you are greeted with the staircase. So you have the option to make it like dual key layout but otherwise, I think it is great for you and your family to stay in. If you are an investor that is looking at buying for future capital appreciation or for tenant pool, we're going to take a look at who are your potential tenant pool. Right where Woko Midtown is, you have a huge diversity that ranges from Accenture, PayPal, Mastercard, Salesforce. So I think with a huge option of tenants right there, finding a tenant, even though you have a few competition, there are still sufficient pool of tenants that you can find, especially in this region. So we talk about Midtown Bay in D7 district. It also comes with a bit of competition. So we're going to take a closer look at who are our competitors and how do they actually fare compared to Midtown Bay. So I think first up, we want to take a closer look at dual residences. So if you have to compare side by side between dual residence one beta as well as a Midtown Bay one beta, of course dual residences, since they are completed in year 2017, by the time that Midtown Bay is completed, dual residences will be around five to six years old. And the price difference is around that $200,000 difference. So I think if you want to straight away have a competitive edge, then you might want to then go for the cheapest option, which is a $1.4 odd million dollars one beta in Midtown Bay. Next up, we're going to take a closer look at South Beach residences, which is just right below beside Midtown Bay. Now in terms of the price difference for these two beta duplex at 990 square feet is starting from 2.78 million and for South Beach residences two beta the recent asking price is already going at almost 3.46 million dollars. One of the reasons why South Beach is also commanding at a premium is because of its accessibility to Esplanade MRT but I think with the network of underground pedestrian path that also means that Midtown Bay will also give you unparalleled convenience Last but not least, we also want to compare how Midtown Bay stack against the M. The M have generated a lot of hype purely because the overall price quantum was kept at a very affordable price. So for this particular two beta, the asking price is around 1.86 to 1.9 over million dollars. Whereas for a Midtown Bay two beta, that is going at around 2 million odd dollars. Both are exactly standing at 732 square feet. But for the M, they are situated very close to Boogie's MRT, but it does not come with the exclusivity that Midtown Bay brings along. So I think Midtown Bay is definitely perfect for affluent professionals, young couples, or even investors, especially when you have a pool of tenants that are ready the moment you collect your keys. And of course, not forgetting the fact that you have a great host of amenities, facilities, as well as convenience that are interconnected to one another. So I think this is definitely a project worth looking at. So if you want to gather more information about the best choice stacks as well as the unreleased price, do get in touch with us. But otherwise, stay tuned for our upcoming show flat visit. So my name is George Ping. See you in the next episode.